Hi guys and welcome to Vlogmas week one. So today is Thursday the 1st of December, obviously I had to start on the 1st. I have been really, really ill this week and today's the first day that I've woke up feeling so, so much better. I have tonsillitis, I'm taking some antibiotics for it and yeah, hopefully we're back on the road to recovery. I do still keep getting like hot flashes, um, but it's fine. I'm actually about to head out because I think I mentioned in a couple videos back that I am starting an aligner journey, invisible aligners, with Impress. I did actually start wearing them in I think what I eat in a week. But basically I need to have these little attachments put on my teeth before they start properly working. So that's what I'm going into London for today. They're gonna put some things on my teeth <laughs> and then I can actually wear my aligners every day, all day basically. That is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna head into London and then I'm not really sure what else I'm doing today. I'm gonna head back. Um, this week has been a little bit of a mess just because I've been ill. I've put stuff off. My flat's turned into a mess. Today is a bit more of like a catch up -y, uh tidy day, which I know is so boring to start on Vlogmas, but um, it's a weekly vlog. So I will be filming I don't think it'll be like exactly a week. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. I might do like four days at a time or something. Otherwise, they'll get so crazily long. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to come and intro the video on the first. And hopefully later we can come back and do like the advent calendars and stuff. But I really hope you guys enjoy Vlogmas. I'm so excited to do it. Hope you love this video. Let's turn on the lights for the tree. 1st of December, wow, I cannot believe it is the 1st. So even though it looks like I've just literally filmed the last clip like two minutes ago, um, I have been to London and back and I got my little attachments on my teeth. Sorry for the close up, but if you're interested, this is what they look like. They're really subtle under my retainer. You won't be able to see them at all. Um, but that's what I got on it. It feels really weird. It kind of feels like I've got braces on again. Definitely will take some getting used to, but the reason I have, don't have my retainers in right now is because I'm actually gonna eat my advent chocolates. I thought we could eat them together because it is the first and it just seems right, you know? This year I actually have three advents, which is quite extreme, but I did get sent these two from Nomo. This is the one that my mum gets us every year. If I'm completely honest, I did actually eat number one of this because when she gave it to me, um, I was at her house and I really wanted a chocolate. I don't even think she knows that because I kind of did it in secret. <laughs> but I've eaten the first one of that one. Then this Nomo one is so nice. Nomo is vegan chocolate um, and it tastes so good. These ones are caramel filled. So let's go for number one. It's right at the top. I love how satisfying these things are. There we go. Quite big as well. They're quite a decent size. Um, I don't know what you mean by I got a decent size. <laughs> Where is Siri? Where are you? That was so weird. Oh, what am I doing? It's my watch. Then number one on this one. Oh, it actually looks like quite a dark chocolate, but I think it's just the colour. I think it still is, like, milky. Obviously, it doesn't have milk in it because it's vegan, but... Mmm. You just fell. Um, it definitely does taste a little bit darker than milk. Um, but still really good. And then this is the caramel one. I think I have, like, three beauty advent calendars. I am probably going to give my sisters two because I do it every year. I just don't need that many. Um, and the products inside I usually already have. So I'm probably going to give those away. But I do have a Barry M one which is under my tree. So should we open that one together? Why not? This is what it looks like. Big reveal. Wow. Oh my God, they're going to fall out. 
that is what the calendar looks like. I love the pink and red. I think it looks really fun. So number one is this really cute box. And I love these advents because they're so reusable. I have one from Mac that's still in my um, wardrobe room. And it's empty because it's like a few years old. But it's so nice. And you could definitely use it to put your own bits in. I've just never got around to it. Oh, we have a Dazzle Dust. Um, these are such a throwback for me because my older sisters used to use these um, and as the youngest I used to steal their makeup how times have changed but they used to have all of the colours particularly blue because that was the fashion and I used to steal them and I think I still have them now but this is like a really really fine pigment that's what it looks like bronzed pink so that is all of my oh no I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that is all of my advents for this morning I guess I'll try and do advents on some days of vlogmas but maybe not every day because it might get a little bit repetitive yeah now I'm going to tidy up because I've been so ill for a few days I've just been so lazy in terms of like washing I've not really put things away properly because I've just not had the energy so I feel like I really need to do a clean. I feel like I'm always cleaning. But that is just life as you get older. My hoover is currently still broken, which is so annoying. So I need to sort that out as well. I need to contact Dyson. Um, put all of this makeup away as well. And yeah, just crack on with catching up. So as I said, Vlogmas Day 1 is not going to be very exciting. But I'll probably check back in when I make myself dinner or something like that. Tonight, I think I might head to my gym class, which I usually do on a Thursday. Because I'm sort of in two minds whether I'm going to overdo it and make myself ill again. Or whether I need that exercise to like get out of this funk, you know. So I'll keep you updated on that. But for now, I need to crack on with sort my life out. Okay, guys, it is a lot later now. I'm going to start on my dinner. Spent the last few hours um, tidying. You can probably see in the background, it's looking a lot better. I don't know if I actually showed you what it looked like this morning. Um, but it was bad. And I'm still doing the other rooms. It's probably going to take me another few hours but um i've just received an order from cherries and i've actually put most of it away now but they've very generously given me a code which i've shared on instagram and it is let me check what it is and you guys can use it as well it is lej25 and you get 25 percent off your first order when you spend 20 pounds i love cherries i think they have so much on there so much that you don't find in other shops e.g cheetos they do like selection boxes for christmas they do christmas decorations they do all of your groceries that you need i got this massive um pack of porridge oats I didn't realize how big it was um but i can give some of those to my family i've got loads of cleaning products they have so much choice um cupboard essentials and also some jars to decant some um, like chocolate spreads into and stuff. Yeah, very successful haul. And I'll insert the um, video. My neighbor's baby's crying. <laughs> I'll insert the video of um, the full haul because I just uploaded like a story to my Instagram. And I'm gonna start on dinner. So, for dinner, <coughs> I'm going to have, oh my God, my fridge smells so so bad Aldi actually really kindly sent me a wine and cheese night kit and I think there must be like camembert in the um I don't know if you'll be able to see it's in like a cool bag on the top and even through the cool bag oh my god it smells so bad but I'm I, I love cheese and I'm gonna eat it I love the taste of it it just really smells terrible I'm actually gonna have one of these fish cakes I picked these up from Tesco yesterday. They were reduced to 174. And that's because they're out of date. They should be fine. Only by a day. Preheat the air fryer and put one of these in. Is one enough? Because I am just gonna have it with broccoli. I think one will be enough. Um so yeah, I'm gonna have one of these. 
with loads of broccoli because I've not really had veg the last couple days where I've not cooked because I know it's boring but I've been really ill. Finally feeling like myself these last few hours. Um, and it feels really good. I think I'm still gonna go to my workout class which is in a couple of hours, a few hours. It's just how dark it is. Like I hate leaving the house this late because it feels like I should be in bed. I'm gonna see how I feel after I eat it because I I usually think that fish cakes are quite filling. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like and it literally took me 10 minutes. I'm actually now gonna get ready to work out. Oh, honestly, I have a love-hate relationship with evening workouts because I feel like you get all of your energy from the day, from the food you've eaten and I actually feel like I perform best in the evening because I'm not tired, fresh out of bed, no food. Um, I've had good fuel, but especially in the winter, I just wanna get ready for bed, have a bath, read my book, but we're not doing that. We're gonna go to the gym and that's the beauty of booking classes because I've booked it and I think you get like an hour before the class to cancel, otherwise you get like three strikes on your band for a, a couple of weeks or something. I feel like going to a class, having an instructor, I go with my friend, it's just a little bit more fun, you know? So let's take my makeup off. Um, I never know where to put you in here. Oh, I need to uh, get some more flannels. They're all in the wash. But I might use this. This is a sponge. Now look at the size of it. <laughs> I was like, Sorry, how's that sponge? I almost threw it away because I didn't know what it was. It's one of those things that expands. So I thought we could do it together. I think it'll be quite fun. So yeah, let's try it out. This is how thin it is. Let's just do one side. Oh, I was gonna do one side, but it obviously splashed a bit too much. Yeah, how cool is that? <laughs> I mean, it looks more like a cleaning sponge, but I suppose you could use it for your face, which I'm going to have to because my flannels are in the wash. But yeah, technology for you. Um, and also, I've been loving this brand. I'll show you tomorrow when I get ready. Um, they've got like this bronzer, which is just really, really nice. And also this cleanser is this one. Just gonna pop some serums on and stuff and make my skin feel nice and ready to sweat, I guess. All cleansed, it actually felt really nice. It was a little bit rough, but I feel like it sort almost exfoliated as well. I'm just gonna pop these two products on. This is the Quarterly Serum. It's a different one to what I usually use, but I trust it. And this Medicate, uh, what is this, Hy Hyaluronic Acid, yeah. And I've actually never tried either of these products, but I've been meaning to, so let's just try them now. I know you're probably not supposed to put anything on your skin before you work out, but I just feel like my skin needs it. It's not had much nourishment these last few days. Mm, I love Gordley products so much. Cool. Oh, that smells like lemon i just need to get change and then we can head to our class okay guys i am ready i've got the most random outfit on but i don't really care um and i've actually lost my gym card so that should be fun but i will see you guys when i get home i am home from my workout class and oh my god it was so hard we had a different instructor today and she was just built different um oh my god the things that we were doing even when i'm at my fittest i probably couldn't do and today i'm definitely not at my fittest so i gave it a good go but i'm probably gonna ache a lot tomorrow i'm gonna jump in the shower i'm actually gonna fake tan tonight because 
even though I've not got like massive plans at the weekend, I just feel so pale. I just want to give myself a little bit of a glow up to be honest. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I guess I will see you guys in the morning. I'm actually going out shopping with my mum tomorrow. So of course I'll bring you along with me. See you in the morning. morning guys so I'm probably looking hopefully a little bit more tanned and alive I'm definitely feeling um, more alive I'm a little bit tired but I feel better in myself I don't feel ill anymore um, so that's really good but I'm just gonna get ready for the day I am going shopping with my mum which I think I mentioned yesterday and we decided we're gonna go to Westfield um, Stratford which I've actually not been to in so long honestly Stratford used to be my playground <laughs> I used to go there every weekend with my friends because when it first opened it was like the, the next best thing and also it's really close on the train it was like one train so um, yeah we're gonna go there we're basically gonna do some Christmas shopping and just have a nice day together. She's done it um, with both my sisters already this year. So now it's my turn. And she, yeah, she'll just, because she never knows what to buy me for Christmas. And I never really know what to ask for. Um, she basically just treats us to a few bits. And yeah, should be nice. Going to put a little bit of makeup on. Nothing too crazy. And head out. I think my train's in like an hour. Should be nice. And it's Friday. I can't believe where this week's gone because I didn't do anything really on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I feel like the week, I mean, they already just go so quickly, but even quicker. So yeah, it's Friday, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's in the shops. I'm excited to see what's in Primark. Last time I went to Primark in Lakeside, it was shocking. There was nothing. By the way, the two products that I just used are La Roche-Posay SPF which has a really nice glow to it. Focus. And this quarterly serum. And I'm actually thinking I might just film a little reel, um, just doing like my makeup, hair and outfit. I feel like I've been really slacking um, in terms of Instagram content because I've just not felt up to it. I, I would create like a really nice makeup look, but I don't really like to go out with all of like loads of eyeshadow and stuff. So it just wouldn't really work out today, but it's fine. Maybe I'll film one when I get home. I think it's time to crack out the, um, the big light, which I used to use for filming because even though this natural daylight is so nice, it lasts for like two hours. What is the time? It's like 10 o'clock and we've probably got probably got another hour oh i think i've just run out of this i have loved this this is the mac studio radiance it's gone i mean it was only a matter of time look at it but this honestly surprised me because i've used mac products for years and i feel like there were other products that i went to instead of mac for skin but when i got sent this i tried it and oh my god i've loved it it's basically like a moisturizer mixed with some strobe cream and also a little bit of primer it's just so nice under makeup and i don't know if you can see but those three products work so well to create like a really nice glowy base um but anyways i'm probably gonna do my makeup for a real and then I'll come back, show you what I look like and show you my outfit of the day. And then we can go meet my mum. I think I'm gonna meet her on the train, so. Don't forget the lip oil. Okay, I completely forgot to film before I came out. Hi mum, <laughs> come in. Um, we're in m and I was a bit, in a bit of a rush and 
I thought I was actually on time, but then I realized I missed my train because I thought it was like 10 minutes later than it actually was. And I never showed my outfit either. I'm wearing this really cute jumper from Cider. Just jeans and my TikTok Uggs, which I don't even think I've shown on YouTube, but they're the best. They look exactly like Uggs and they're like 20 pounds. What are you wearing? Um, Mark Spencer's. <laughs> advocate for the shop that she's in. We have come into H&M. We have a self-checkout machine. We're in the home bit. And I picked up these really, really cute cushion covers to go on my sofa. I've got this Christmas tree one. And then this one that says, may your holidays be merry and bright. It is the season. And I think they're really, really cute. So they're like seven pounds each. Mum got a black scarf. And how's it going? Mm. I'm just um, seeing if I've got anything on discount. <laughs> Coupon lady. Come for lunch. We've come to, at least you can take it home though. Yeah, We've come to Mrs. Chew's and we ordered takeaway to start. And they actually gave us takeaway boxes. So we have to dish it up ourselves, but that's fine. Mm. That. We're going to share them, right? I got rice with kung po prawns. I think it's actually better this way. Because you can decide how much you want on your plate. It's like having a Chinese takeaway in Westfield. And then chicken noodles. Never tried this place. No, we usually go to Rose's Thai, don't we? Those prawns are huge. Nice. Wow. It's the last thing we filmed lunch. Um, we're now on the train home. <laughs> It's really dark. So yeah, I'm heading home and we're gonna go our separate ways now because mum gets off on the stop. The next stop. The next will stop. Be... I'll get off on <laughs> a few stops time. And that's it really, but successful sure. Sort of. Yeah. We got a few bits. Um and can I have those headbands actually? <laughs> <laughs> and some inspo. Um hint hint. I think we're gonna look at some nice rings. Um, got some headbands for winter and my cushion covers that I showed you. I don't know what that's from. And some leggings in Dara and a top in Dara, which I'll show you later. Yeah, that's it really. Home time. Okay guys, I've just got home. Um honestly, shopping takes it out of you, doesn't it? It's now five past six and I've got a few bits to do this evening so basically in the morning I'm doing some wedding for a um, wedding some makeup for a wedding um for somebody that I know and it's actually not too much of an early start I think I get there at like 8 45 so I need to be up and leave around 8 so I'm gonna pack all of my kit tonight get that sorted and I've just got little bits to do like take the recycling down and have hopefully a little bit of time to chill. I wanted to actually show you the bits that I got today. I've, put, I've vlogged a little bit out shopping. I love my wreath so much. So, I was actually really good today and I took my own big bag and didn't need to buy any or use any. So, I got these which I showed you in H&M and I'm actually gonna pop them on now, hopefully. They fit my covers. These are from, I think these are home base. Home base? And yeah, they're just really plain. But I don't even take the covers off. I just shove the whole thing into um, the new cover. Hopefully these fit. They look about the same size as my autumn ones. Then I have one for each season. I don't feel like I'd want to do um, like themed ones for spring and summer I just don't think it's as fitting as it is with like 
Halloween, autumn, and obviously Christmas. I'll try and find these online. They should be online because they're H&M Homes. I feel like they are smashing it, honestly. They're clothes, not so much, but I feel like they're putting all their effort into home and I'm not mad about it. This is what this one looks like. <gasps> yeah, I love it. Will I stop buying decorations soon? Maybe. Oh my God, I'm so glad. They're a little bit baggy, but it's fine. Um, I don't actually know if they say what size they are. 50 by 50, yeah. So they fit, but they're a little bit baggy, but I don't mind. I might actually swap them around. Maybe I won't, I don't know. And then that is that one. And then the bits I got in Zara, these are really boring, but they're their leggings and I love these leggings. I think they're the Limitless Contour Collection. And I don't actually know what happened to my black ones. I think they just became a little bit old and worn, but they, oh, you probably won't be able to see. I mean, they've picked up so much fluff from my jumper. They, oh, oh my God, they've got so much on them. They're ribbed and they're really, really stretchy and so comfy and they're seamless as well. So they just are really flattering and $17.99. top from Zara, I just couldn't leave. Even though I have nowhere to wear this in particular, I just thought there will be somewhere in the future and it's one of those things I feel like I'll never throw out. So, I mean, I've not even tried it on, <laughs> but I think it's really cute. So it's actually mesh. You can probably see me through this. And the front is high neck. Again, I think I need my torch for this. It's really, really sparkly. Can you see? Yeah. It's so pretty and then the back, is like this dip back like that um so you'd obviously have to wear some sort of bralette under it but i think it looks so nice with like black trousers or i don't know i haven't really thought that much about it but i just thought it was very nice and it was say not 25.99 which i think is pretty good so there's everything i got from zara my mum also got me a jumper but she wanted to give it to me for christmas i'm gonna pack my bits up and i will probably see you guys tomorrow happy saturday it is the third this morning i've been out and done wedding for a wedding i keep saying that makeup for a wedding and now it is about two o'clock is it almost half past two and I've just showered and got ready. I've not put any makeup on because we are going out for dinner later. I'll do like a full face then. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Yeah, we're going to pop into the town because when I was driving back, I saw loads of Christmas markets, loads of markets, and it just looked really busy and fun. So we're going to wander down and see what's popping. We're going for dinner later <laughs> with your family. Yeah. And yeah, we've got a few hours in the day <laughs> i came back from the wedding makeup to a very cute display didn't i yeah from I'll you yeah i got an advent calendar let me show you it's advent calendar which i already had one of oh what you already had one no i've already had the first window oh you know <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, which I've already got. No, I've already had the first window, but even though it's the third, obviously we didn't see each other on the first, so um, I need a few to catch up on, but also this really cute mini tree, and it's real. And I don't have a real tree, and then he's put some little cute lights on it, so very, very cute. Thank you very much. Also, Cherry's actually sent this really cute Christmas bundle, so I've been quite spoiled today. And we're going to head into town and see what the markets are saying. Quick outfit. I've got these leggings on that I picked up from Zara yesterday. And then my trusty Primark trainers. And then a white roll neck. The super dry fleece. And this cap from Copenhagen. morning guys happy sunday it is i don't have my watch on i think it's like half past 10 um it's very gloomy outside and it feels very much like a sunday micah actually had to get up and go to football this morning and then he phoned me 
on his way home and said that his game got cancelled so that was annoying but he's going to watch football with the boys later anyway so i think i'm actually having my family over today um not sure whether to cook not sure whether to say let's all go out order in i'm not sure i kind of am the, i'm in the mood to cook but i don't really know if there's enough of space for everybody so i don't know we'll see i'm just having my advent i'm actually really behind because i've got so many advents um <laughs> So I'm having day two of this one. What day is it today? Day four. But I'm probably gonna snack on these all morning and like hatch up with the days because I've got four advent calendars. I sent two, my mum got me one and Michael got me one. So yeah, this is the one I got him and he left it here and he's only had one as well. He's not really a sweet tooth, but you got to have an advent calendar, you know? Not much planned for today apart from get myself ready in the shower. Might film a little makeup reel, take some photos, and just have a little spruce. Family coming over later, and should be a nice Sunday together. Also yesterday, I didn't actually vlog. I didn't vlog anything at the markets, really. I filmed a couple clips on my phone but it was really really cute the camera's really shaky sorry um it was really cute i had a bailey's hot chocolate there and it was just really nice to have a little wander around and see what was there because i've never actually seen the christmas markets in my town before um and i only stumbled across them because when i was driving back from doing the wedding makeup i was like why is it so busy um and then I noticed that there was loads of markets and then we walked in and yeah, last night we went out for dinner. It was really, really nice. And we got back quite late actually. I think we got back at like midnight. I mean, I can't believe it's Sunday already. I feel like the weekends just fly. So do the weeks though. So I'm actually undecided whether I'm gonna film the whole week for one vlog or whether I do like just today and then get this up tomorrow and then start filming tomorrow as the next vlog so weekly vlogs but like four days because i don't know whether a whole week is number one a long time to wait and number two is it just going to be really really long i don't know does anybody else's youtube just sometimes randomly switch on the most old videos oh don't mind all of this mess i need to mop that um i mean sweep but i was just watching youtube and then it went on to a recent video of zoe sug which i actually really like her um latest videos with her daughter and just i just like her chilled vibe but then this one comes on and i can hear it in the other room whilst i'm doing my makeup and it is from six years ago <laughs> i'm like what why is youtube randomly playing this stuff i'm not sure but anyways i have just done my makeup this is so full glam for me i don't know if you can see but I've even done like the whole sellotape, sharp cut on the eyes and quite a big lip. God, my head looks big like this. But um, yeah, guess who the makeup's inspired by? I'll tell you in Kylie. So I took a photo from Pinterest and I just kind of took some inspiration from it. And I used this new um, hair thing. I don't really know what you call it, but it's kind of dropped. Um, I think I need to, to leave it in longer. It's like a styler, and I feel like I'm gonna love this. It's from Dry Bar. This is what it looks like. It blows out hot air, and yeah, I kind of just wrapped it under and then put it in a little... I want some proper rollers for Christmas, but I just popped it in a little clip. And then when I let it down, it was really bouncy and I just feel like it really looked quite put together. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna keep this on today because it's quite extreme for what I'm doing, which is just having family over. I'm probably gonna take it off in a sec, but it's been fun for some videos and photos. And then I'm gonna head to Audi, I think, just to get some, I think we've decided on putting some like little picky bits in the oven. My mum's gonna bring round a chicken because she randomly cooked a roast chicken. And I'm gonna get some like potatoes, some veg, some like party food basically. And whoops, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I didn't really fancy like a big meal because we went out last night as well. So I think picky bits, picky bits will be perfect. And also England's playing later at seven. So I think we'll all watch that 
but yeah i'm gonna take this off head to aldi and then i'll come back and probably do a little food haul okay, i just got back from aldi little food shop haul so i got these um i mean a lot of their brands are fake aren't they i actually do prefer the real ones i do think you can taste the difference but anyways i got the thai sweet chili crisps and also some lightly salted i have just opened these sausage roll puffs they're not great, but they're very Moorish, if that makes sense. Um, I don't love the flavour, but yeah, there's something on them that makes you want them. <laughs> so I've got those as well. Then I've just got some eggs. That's just for my everyday food shop. I've got some garlic bread, some Yorkshire puddings, potatoes. I'm going to make some roasties. I'm actually going to follow a recipe that I saw on TikTok. Just some cans of Diet Coke. And then I got loads of options, to be honest. My mum's bringing over some meat as well, just because it's good to have. I got some cabbage, rosemary for the potatoes, chorizo pigs in blankets, um, some caramelized onion sausages, some dips, garlic and onion and alioli, stuffing balls, some normal pigs in blankets, I got two stuffing balls because I panicked. I overbuy. It's just a bad habit that runs in our family. We like to overfeed and not run out of food. Um, more sausages. <laughs> Carrots, broccoli, parsnips. I think I'm going to do like honey roasted carrots and parsnips. Um, red onions, some garlic. And that is it. So, yeah, quite a successful shop. And I'm going to make a start on prepping all of this now. Um currently like 3 p.m obviously i changed my face as well by the way just put on another light layer of makeup but it's 3 p.m i think everyone's coming up like four so just gonna prep everything and yeah see how everything turns out It is time for bed. It's actually only like 10 p.m. Um, what is the time? I think it's like half 10. 20 past 10 and I am tired. All of the food turned out so amazing this evening. Oh my God. Um, I made these, um, oh, let me get comfy. <laughs> I made these um, roast potatoes that I saw on TikTok and I feel like my life has changed in terms of how I'm going to cook them from now on. And I told the hack to all my family and none of them have done it either. But basically, I boiled the potatoes in chicken stock. So I put one of those like little jelly chicken stocks in with the water with some salt. Let them boil, like fluff them up as usual, put them in hot oil. And then when they came out, obviously really crispy, I put in a little pot um, some butter, melted butter, some chopped garlic and some rosemary just mix it together and just drizzled it on top of the potatoes and oh my god everybody said it they were like incredible i'll insert a photo um i, did, I think i did show them in the blog though and i think the tiktok guy is called mr Grubworks. i want to say he came up on my for you and i saved the video and yeah recommend you should try it but yeah all of the food was really nice it was actually quite nice to have like a buffet style roast because there was all of the elements of a roast but i just didn't plate it up because i didn't know how hungry everybody was and you could just pick up what you wanted so it was really nice and we watched the football england won it was good vibes and then um yeah my family headed home it's a really nice sunday monday obviously is tomorrow and i'm planning to get up early and head to the gym so i obviously didn't really go last week because i was ill and then i started blogging and i was just like sort of getting into the swing of things with that so tomorrow i'm gonna try and start off my week by being productive and i'm actually gonna get my hair done so i think i'm gonna end this vlog here and start vlogmas two tomorrow um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed vlogmas week one you know what i mean part one vlogmas i really hope you guys loved it um stay tuned because it's only gonna get more festive and yeah i'm so excited i feel so festive and i'm really enjoying it so far so thank you if you have watched all the way to the end and 
let me know if a few days at a time is good i know that most people like to watch like dailies but i don't do that much day to day to make it that interesting so <laughs> a few days will work out best but um yeah let me know if you guys enjoyed this one and i will see you in vlogmas number two goodbye